What's up, guys? So today I'm going to explain to you guys, you know, why I like Banano so much and, you know, like, what is Banano, right? So the big reason why I like Banano so much is it's actually a very user-friendly cryptocurrency and it's, like, actually useful in, like, real life, like, every day. Um, okay, say, like, you and your friends, you both have Banano. You both have a Calium wallet. The Calium wallet is, is Banano is super slick. Um nice and clean it's their wallet okay for sending and holding coins so you and your friend you both have a a calium wallet okay you go to mcdonald's all right you don't have any money on you you're like hey man if you might be a big mac right now i'll send you five banana okay and you just you know you send your friend some banana and the cool thing about banana is that the transactions cost there's no transaction fees so when you send someone five bucks worth of banana, you don't lose any value, okay? And they're also instant. The fees or the, the transactions are instant. Um, so you can send, you know, banana back and forth, back and forth. You won't lose any value. You have five bucks of banana the whole time. Obviously, unless it goes up or down, but it might go up, you know? Um, so let me, uh, let me get on the old... Calium wallet here, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, all right. So, I uh, see here. You see my notification here. I received 116 banana. This is another reason why I like banana is because you can mine it. Okay, this 116 banana is one of two daily payments I get for mining banana. Um, currently, you know, right now the crypto is all cryptos are in kind of a large dip right now. Um, so the price of banana right now is 2.6 cents, I think. Uh, sounds about right. So this is like, like $3 worth, worth banana, but I get this twice a day. It's like six bucks a day. Actually pretty competitive when you compare it to other things you can mine, like Ethereum with like, I have a 2080 Ti. Um, so it's pretty competitive. Six bucks a day for a 2080 Ti. That's pretty good. Um, so let's see here. Uh, go to my Calium. Put my pin in here. Sneaky, sneaky. Okay, so I've got two wallets here, so I can simulate what it'd be like if you were using, if you and your friend were trying to send some banana or whatever. Um, see, I've got my balance up here on my banana that tells me how much it's worth uh, in Bitcoin and USD. So, if I was, if I was, uh, you know, my friend, I would receive you know you can either scan the qr code or you can copy your address or whatever and you just message it to your friend through a text or you know an email or whatever um go back to my wallet and then once i got the address you know just um paste it in there and i can actually save the address for later in like an address book so you know, like oh, this is this is Steve's address, and this is this is Todd's address. Um, all right, you can put in the amount. Of, you can, you know you can put in twenty banana. We can make it so it makes it so you can put in the dollar amount. Um, let's do five bucks. So we'll send that next. Send, confirm. So, boom! It's already sent. And we'll see over here. Should have one or yeah, six dollars now. We didn't lose any value at all. It happened immediately, and that's why Banano is is uh, is pretty great. Uh, it's instant and it's feeless, and it's got monkeys and bananas. Okay. Other than the fact that it's super easy to use, um, let's like out of that. You know, what else, you know, why else do I like Banano? Uh, well, the other big reason that I like Banano is that uh, it's got a bunch of room to grow, okay? You can see here, the market cap of Banano right now is $34 million. Um, And if you look at the graph here, it, it's really only been increasing in value. There was never really a, a point where it was all pumped up and then it's just dumped or anything like that. It's been increasing in value. Obviously, up here though, this is this is just due to the fact that every single cryptocurrency, including Bitcoin, is down. So that's that's what happens with uh, that's what this dip was caused by. 
Um, okay, 33 million. Okay, what, what if Banana was in the top 100 cryptos, okay? What would the price of Banana be if it moved into top 100, if it hit a 1 billion market cap, basically? So, you see the top 100, you know, like, they're around a billion market cap. If Banana moved up to 1 billion market cap, which there are a lot of coins that, you know, it's not that hard for a cryptocurrency to get to 1 billion, okay? It pretty much it just needs, like, a a good amount of, like, influencers to start making videos and, and you know, get the word out about the crypto. Um, but if it hit a 1 billion market cap, then Banana would, would uh, do, like, a, a 20 to 30x from here, maybe a 30x return. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that'd be about uh, $1 per banana. So it has a lot of room to grow. And also, right now, if you search up banana on YouTube, you won't see any big um, influencers or YouTubers uh, making videos about it right now. It's just it's just not out there yet. Uh, it's really early on right now. Um, but an interesting thing about banana is that it has a really active it has a really active Reddit and Discord community. For the size of the coin, it's Discord and Reddit community. It's got see it's got 28k on Reddit is really active. Uh, you know, see this is this is late at night right now. It's got 200 online. Um, compared to most other subreddits and Discords, very large for its size. Also uh a cool thing about like Banano's Reddit uh, community and stuff is that it resembles a lot what Dogecoin's subreddit was used used to be like back in like 2014. Um, you know, it, it had to do with tipping and like meme culture, and, and you can see here we actually um, got some shoutouts from the creator of Dogecoin himself on Twitter. He's a he's a big supporter of Banano. <laughs> And he's uh, actually stopped by the subreddit and made a nice thread about us too, which is pretty cool. Um, so here's here's the next big thing. This is also what's so great about Banana. Um, you can mine it, okay? And it's not this. It's not just any old mining, since Banana is uh, it's a fork of Nano, and all the coins already exist. So that instead of um, uh, pulling them out from the software of the fucking blockchain through transactions or whatever, they need to be distributed somehow. Uh, so there's multiple ways that they're distributed, the faucets and stuff, but the biggest way is through this folding at home mining, okay? Uh, you help out scientific research by lending your GPU and CPU power to fold proteins in these simulations or whatever. But basically, you just run this software and uh, folding at home, and you'll get sent bananas every uh, twice a day. You send bananas twice a day, and uh, we're actually Banano is the largest team, um, the most popular with the most users that are, that use um, folding at home. Um, so th that's a lot of free advertising for Banana right there. What's also good about Banana mining is it it means that people are unlikely to get bored of banana because you know you can just you can just mine it for passive income and that'll that'll have that'll keep people around banana and keep it in their minds for years as long as you can still mine it of course um so that's good and uh yeah i mean that's that's pretty much that's pretty much some most of the key points, I would say. Um, obviously, there are a lot of other cool things going on in Banano. The devs and stuff are working on new stuff, trying to get into more exchanges. Um, they're trying to do more cool things as well. Uh, you can always read about it on their social medias and stuff and keep up to, up to date. But yeah, that's, uh, that's why I like Banano. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you later.